Hello! In this video I explain how to work with photos, like captioning and editing them. Let's open an album. Pick a photo and open it. To do so, I click on the plus sign. Clicking anywhere else on the photo selects it and copies it to the tray on the left. I select photos when I want to create a product, but for now I want to work with the photo. First off, I can see the photo thumbnails in the album along the bottom with the current photo highlighted. I can jump to any other photo I like from here. I can also select the photo from this detail view by clicking on the check mark. Again, this copies the photo to the tray on the side. On top of the photo, I have a number of functions. First, let's look at the information panel under I. This shows me the EXIF data for the image that is available for digital images like date taken, resolution, and the camera used and its settings. Click on See More to see all the info. I close the info panel by clicking the X in the corner. Next, I can download the image. This saves a copy of the photo to my default browser download directory. This is also where I caption the photo. The caption button is a toggle or switch. I click to turn it on. Then I can just type in the caption field right on the image. The photo caption and file name are the same on Snapfish. The file name is in fact the default caption, so by captioning an image, I am overwriting the file name. I can also favorite the photo. This is useful since I can easily access all my favorite photos in one place. When I favorite a photo, it goes into a special album made up of all my favorite photos. There are also a number of functions under More. I can make the photo the album cover. I can also move or copy the photo to another album. For these, I have to select a destination album, which can be existing or new. Last but not least is the edit function. I click on edit to open the edit panel. There are four tabs under edit. The first one is enhance, where I can adjust brightness, contrast, and make color corrections. Depending on the image, these enhancements may or may not produce visible and desirable outcomes. Next is filters, where I can make the photo black and white or apply a color filter like sepia. Rotate allows me to turn the photo 90 degrees to the left or right at a time. The last tab is crop, where I can apply a preset aspect ratio equivalent to the print sizes like 4x6, 5x7, and square. I can also adjust the crop window on the image by moving it around or changing its size from one of its corners. Also, note the zoom function on top. I can zoom in or out. Once I'm done with my edits, I click Done Editing. This creates a modified copy of the photo per my edits. We do this to prevent users from overwriting the original photo. However, if I don't care to keep the original, I can select Replace Original before I save it. My newly edited photo is added to the album next to the original image. And note that the new edited photo is added to my timeline with the timestamp. That's all for now. Make sure to check out our other related videos so you get the most out of managing your photos on Snapfish. Thanks for watching!